Guys, we look like train drivers. I don't use this word. And Cossack, you were like frowned upon for the rest of the year. <laughs> Front and center. You were never. Pretty much. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Tegan. I'm Sam. And we are Thrift Cartoons. Welcome back to our channel. because we're showing you some of our old dance costumes. Now, these dance costumes are all from our end of year dance concerts, which we were in quite a few items every year. So over the years, we've accumulated quite a few costumes. There's two of every single costume because there's two of us. Yes, twins. Double of everything, so our shed is just completely full of costumes. These costumes are all custom made, which means none of them were bought on the internet. Our mum spent hours and hours sequining, glittering and decorating these costumes, so they're all really special. I think you guys have got to notice that they're a little bit old school. Yes, definitely. Costumes have changed so much over the years. Like, I feel like you never see sequins anymore. And beads, you just see diamonds. So, you guys will get what we mean when you see the costumes. You're going to be like, oh yeah, they look so different to the costumes you see now. Okay, guys, before we go on with the video, if you're new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't already, and give it a big thumbs up if you like it. And don't forget to click that grey bell next to the subscribe button so you are notified every time we post a video. Plus, follow us on Instagram and TikTok because we post on those platforms. Every day. We'll just give you a few moments to do that. Did you do all that? Woo! Welcome to the family. So we're going to start at the beginning. So we're actually going to get our very first acro costume. Everybody was kung fu fighting. Ha! Yeah, so that was the song we danced to. And this is the costume. Oh my gosh, it fits. Look at that, can I try it on? Must have been baggy when we wore it. It actually was. It was very baggy when we wore it. It's crazy that this was our first ever acro costume. And like, we didn't know that we'd have many more acro costumes I know. after this one. So many. We have this routine on video. And yeah, I took the entire stage to run up and do a cartwheel. And I didn't even land it. Also, thank you to our auntie for making these back in the day. Shout out to Aunt Leonie. And here is our next one. This one we actually can't try on, obviously, because the Leo is Look so tiny. Look at the size of it. It looks so small. This is my favorite costume ever. It comes with a cute headpiece. Look at the flower detail and the glitter on the flower. Love it. And then bits of material. That's fun. We were actually seven when we wore these costumes. And this was to the song Reach for the Stars. Reach for the Stars. This is our first year at the Devon McCulloch Dance Academy, which is where we learned dancing for 12 years yeah. of our life. All right, let's get on to our next costume. Yeah. See ya. Bye. And these were our tap costumes. It's funny watching the old videos because I was like, you tell I was like scared to be on stage. A bit like, where am I going next? You guys, we even had cute little head pieces. All of these were handmade. I just can't believe the amount of hours that it would have taken to make all of this, decorate, make these hats. Our moms, they were so dedicated. All right, next costume. And these guys were our finale costume in 2003. We were literally on stage for like 10 seconds and we got this whole costume just to go on stage for like 10 seconds. I remember everyone talking about it being like, we're only on stage for that little bit of time. But look, these costumes are so cute. All the beads, it's like mesh. I feel like beads aren't a thing anymore. Yeah, the neck. I wish we got to wear this costume like more. I wish we could wear it now. Next costume. This next costume was another jazz one. And we did it to the song, Mr. Postman. Mr. Postman, look at Oh, oh yeah! yeah. There's a letter, a letter for me! Yeah, something like that. There was actually a few pieces to this costume. We I know, look! A, a skirt. skirt. We had these little leggings. Leggings, and then we have the leotard. Okay, next costume. Next costume. These next costumes were our very first ballet item costumes. And we did a dance to the song Somewhere Over the Rainbow. And it was really cool because everyone was like a different colour. And I think we each had a partner. And we didn't get to pick our partners. We didn't get to pick our colours. So I was a little bit disappointed. You got it. <laughs> you got what you were given. We were all young, trying to do ballet. Probably not very well. <laughs> we look cute, I guess. Yeah. These actually came with really nice skirts that had glitter all over them. Beautiful. Shout out to Miss Nikki if you're yeah, watching Miss this video. Nikki. You were the choreographer for this routine. Whoa, sorry. Sorry, shut up! This next costume was for a tap item and look how cute it is. I love it. Yeah, the material is like ribbed and it's so colorful. Look at our funky hats, guys. They did have elastic on them, but the elastic 
has like corroded over the time. And we wore little kick gloves and we actually have Boy in our routine and he started it like in the center and he had like a stick. I just remember this. So at this point we were doing tap, jazz, ballet and acro. Alrighty, enough of that costume. These were like genie costumes. They were for an acro item. And we were like the mini ones, which meant we were thrown around all the time. I really remember not knowing where I was going in this routine. Check out how many sequins and beads. When you move, it just looks incredible, like all the sparkles. Mom, you did an amazing job. You did. All right, next costume. <laughs> Guys, look at these costumes. This is another acro costume. Look at the big bowl in the back, guys. Like, like, can we just take a moment? Another item where there were so many of us on stage. Guys, look at the detail near the neck. Like, even that would have taken hours. Look at the detail just on the hat. Or the headpiece, whatever you want to call it. There's like a little fan going on here. I know, wow. Just incredible. All right, next costume. So guys, this next costume was another jazz number and it was something to do with the Lion King. Yeah, it was like a remix. It had like techno on it. And look how cute the costumes are. I love anything that's like themed. Something about leopard and yellow. Just, just where it was. And the main step that we remember from this routine was this and this. A lot of these costumes were only worn for like three minutes on the stage and we never wore them again. Crazy, hey? Yeah. Yeah. Sad true. Our next one was a jazz item, another jazz item, but guys, we actually sang in this item, which was really weird because at our dance school, we didn't have singing. We were just told, oh yeah, you're singing. Yeah, you're singing to the big time, to the medium, small time, up, up, go. <laughs> guys, we're just showing off that we still remember the lines to the song. Guys, I remember Tegan got a special part. Like, you stood up, yeah. and you went like this or something, and yeah. you're like, here comes Freddie. Yeah. And I remember being like so sad that I didn't get a special part. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to the costume designer. Just like nailed it. All right, next costume. And this is our next. Oh wait, you don't have a costume. You didn't get. I was not invited to this. Sarah so was not invited on this little trip. We did a performance over in Sydney at a dance expo, and that was actually my very first time on a plane. I was year five, and yes, Sam did not come with us. Guys, I did not get invited. I was just not good enough. There was a huge announcement, and the first name to be called was Tegan's. And then I wasn't gone. <laughs> was like, See you then. And that's the longest time Sam and I have ever spent away from each other, which was four days. I went to school alone, people. In year five, it was a scary day. Look at the glitter. I just love this costume so much. The glitter, the velvet. I'm a big fan of velvet. Yeah, black velvet and glitter. Oh, you went on to use this for your acro solo, right? I did because I was such a fan of the costume. Okay. See you next costume. <laughs> Like train drivers. Working at the car wash. Yeah, that was the song we did this um, dance to. It's from, you know, Shark Tower, Car Wash. Everyone knows the song, right? Our mum had to sequin the words car wash on the hat. Look at our cute little cloth in our back pocket. That is so cool. I love a piano. Guys, look at these costumes. I love them. And a little bow tie. How cute. Yeah, just love the look of this one. Huh? And that's why you bobby pin. So did the head. If anything fell off in an item, you were like frowned upon for the rest of the year. Yeah, you boy. <laughs> this was a tap item and we had a piano. Guys, this is the first costume yeah. that we can actually try on for you and show you what it looks like on. Somehow we fit into these. It's very tight, but this material is very stretchy. Our butts. Candy. Let's put our next costume on. Guys, believe it or not, this was actually a ballet costume. Sam was also in the routine, but she actually turned this into an acro costume. So we added the leggings and this little tutu and this little bleach out here. Yes. We were like literally probably year eight, so 12 or 13 when we wore these costumes. And somehow, thanks to lack of being so stretchy, we well, yeah, put them on. That's all you get, guys. Costume and I'm wearing a jazz costume. We actually danced to Where in the Money for this one, so we danced on little coins. Obviously, not this one because it's like a little briefcase, but I just like that, that, but a coin shape. And this one we had hats as a prop, which was really cool. It was our yeah. first routine with hats, and we yeah. felt really cool. I 
I love this costume because it's pink. It's got yes. a low back happening at the back. It's halter neck. Probably fits me better now than it did back then. Yeah, you know wow, I mean? these costumes don't fit quite nicely. actually a Spanish acro and I loved it so much. It was just such a regal song and like it was just epic. No. Something, Something like that. that. My zip broke at the back. Okay, so these costumes were when the movie Burlesque came out and literally everyone in their end of year dance concert did a song from the movie Burlesque. Yep. And we were one of them. This skirt was actually hand beaded and literally, I remember it took mum literally so long. Like what if someone's came apart and all the beads just went everywhere? Ooh, That's all you get for this costume. Bye, see ya. Moscow. Guys, this costume is not a concert costume. It's an acro duo costume. We wore this costume a lot. And this hat with certain tricks was so hard. It got in the way, it did. Also guys, the first time we were on Australia's Got Talent, for the producers, we had to do an audition that you guys have never seen. And we actually did this routine. This is the routine we used. And we wore these costumes. Yeah. And that's how we got in. And then we ended up doing the can-can. Apparently they already had Cossack dancers. <laughs> Costume, so it had to be like la di da, you know, a bit special. Yeah! Diamonds! Oh my god! Too much front and center. You were never. <laughs> Next costume. Bye bye. That's nasty. A bit of mold on the hat. This costume's fun. I like it. This costume's all about movement. We did it with jumping Jack. Who's Jack? <laughs> Jack must have loved jumping. Guys, look at the back. We've got a nice open back here. Even in the split of the skirt, there's some tassels happening. This on the skirt also matches up. So guys, this is an acro costume that I was actually in without Tegan because she'd had surgery that year and I was by myself. This is actually our costume we wore when we went to America. We performed at Disneyland, Universal Studios, on Hollywood Boulevard with our dance studio. That was our first trip to America. That was our first, our first of many time trips. to America, wow. Guys, there was like 70 people on the plane, all dressed in and our we all had jackets on. It's the best of biggest groups to go to America. These are our next outfits. This and this nice. armband. Check out that armband. That is really cool. That's really different. Oh, the little headpiece. Got yeah. the Americano! Oh. Guys, this is our final costume that we're showing you today. We, we have so many more. We couldn't obviously show you all of them. We only showed you today our concert costumes and some of our Australia's Got Talent costumes, which is this one. We wore these in the semi-finals of Australia's Got Talent in 2013. Like I said to TV before off camera, these bring major anxiety vibes because there was a lot of pressure, of pressure to, to do good, to not wobble, to be in time, yeah, to, to get it right. Fun fact, see the glitter on our whole costume? Like there's dots of glitter everywhere. 
Our mum and our aunties the night before decided the costume needs more glitter, so they <laughs> stayed up all night glittering the costume. Yeah, it was so stressful. We made it through, guys. Woo! So, um, if you guys haven't seen our semi final routine, we did it to Lady Gaga, like a little mashup. Americano mixed with Judas. That was it. <laughs> so much of a mashup. Anyway guys, we really hope you enjoyed this video. Please let us know if you want to see part two because we have so many more costumes we can show you. Plus, we have so many solo costumes. Yeah. So if you're interested, please let us know. So they were like old costumes and our comp costumes are more like newer Recent. and lots of diamantes and yeah. yeah, it's like different style. If you're still here, please comment a sparkle emoji so that we know that you watched it all the way to the end. Yeah, and thank you so much for watching guys. Remember we post every single week. So we'll see you guys next week.